Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've been meaning to get this video up a lot sooner than I have but today's video is going to be my New York haul and everything that I got in New York. Now like I said this video is up a lot later than I had wanted it to be or had I expected it to be because I was in New York actually a couple weeks ago I think um, for my birthday. And did you guys hear about that guy who like ran through Times Square? It was crazy. He basically lost his mind, drove his car through Times Square, ran over a bunch of people. There's security footage of it. It was crazy. And what's even crazier is we were there a week before him. So that just kind of, you know, makes me very gracious for life and for not being there at that particular time and my thoughts and prayers obviously go out to those who were injured and the family of the girl who was actually killed by the driver. But anyway, aside from that, on a more positive note, today's video obviously is a haul so I'm going to go ahead and show you everything that I got from New York City. I don't have a lot actually. A lot of the things that I have are makeup items that I got from Sephora while I was there for my birthday and then other items are just kind of little souvenir items but let's get right into this video so I'm not gonna go in any particular order I'm just going to show you everything as I pick them up basically so the first thing that I'm going to show you is this shirt actually I got from a vendor and then hold on and then the back just says New York City my tag is showing so it just looks like this and this shirt I think was like 10 bucks because what's really great about those vendors is depending on the type of vendor you can kind of bargain with them but this was 10 bucks and then I also picked up this Statue of Liberty and it's also a clock it is a working clock yep it's ticking right there if you can see that but I got this from the store they had a sale it was like buy two get one free so John actually got um, three figures and I got this one um, as the free one and this was originally $24.99 so this is just a little souvenir I keep back there but it's gonna sit up here for right now so we went to the Guggenheim Museum if you don't know what that is I will put a picture here but it's a very famous museum. We had planned on going to the Met, but it was very rainy that day. We didn't get as much done as we had wanted to. It was very difficult to get around, like I said, because it was rainy. But we did end up going to the Guggenheim instead of the Met or the Metropolitan Museum. But while we were at the Guggenheim, I got a couple of things from the gift shop. One thing that I got that I have already taken out of the package is this copper wire photo mobile or mobile. Mobile? Mm-hmm. Um, this copper wire photo mobile, it's very tangled, but it just looks like this. You can hang photos on it, clip them at the end, and then hang it. So I thought that was really cool. So, and I think this was like 15 bucks. I didn't get very much of the Guggenheim because their gift shops are very small, but I ended up also getting two pairs of socks, which are super exciting. But they are by, um, shoot, what's the artist's name? Kandinsky. So I have two pairs of socks. I have, um, three socks in front of me, but two pairs. The other sock ended up in the wash somehow without its match. So I only have three in front of me, but you'll get the idea. So the first pair is this sock. It looks really neat. <clears throat> it has obviously Kandinsky on the bottom, but I really like this. This piece was actually in the Guggenheim, which is really neat to see, but I like these socks. I thought they were cool, so I got those, and they were expensive. I think these were like 25 per pair of sock. And the other one, which does not have its match right now, is this one, which I love the colors in this one. It kind of reminds me of Spencer from iCarly because he has all those crazy socks that light up, but I really like this one because it's really bright and colorful and it's really neat. <clears throat> so that was everything from um, the Guggenheim Museum, and now I'm going to move on to things that I got at Sephora. And before I forget, while we were at the gift shop buying shirts and souvenirs and things like that. They also, since we spent a lot of money there, they gave us a free magnet. So I got this free magnet that just says New York. It's a little bronzy magnet, but I keep it on my fridge. 
and I dropped it. So now I'm going to move on to what I got from Sephora on my birthday in New York City. So I got a lot of random stuff. I've already unpackaged them and started using them. I have filmed a first impressions for that video but I'm trying to edit it and my editing software is not working right right now so we'll see if that video ends up on YouTube or not. But again, I'm not going to go in any particular order, just whatever I can grab first. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this dry shampoo. I needed dry shampoo while I was there because they didn't bring any. So they had this at the little checkout line. And this is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I love the smell of this, actually. I really like it. It smells really good. It leaves an awful white cast in my hair, though. Because I have black hair, and I don't know if you can see that. But... It leaves a very intense white cast, and I have black hair, so it's very obvious to see that. But it smells really good. I don't know why I just did that, but it smells really good, and I like the smell of it. And I'll probably take it with me when I travel to other places just because it is a nice travel size, and I don't have to take my big bottle of dry shampoo. The next thing that I got is this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I really like this. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. And also the smell is really good too, and just everything about this is really great. I've only used it, I think, once or twice, but I really like how it makes the skin look. So if you don't know about Sephora, if you go into Sephora during your birth month, you will get a free birthday gift. So my free gift that I chose was this Tarte sample. It comes with a blush in the shade Party. Just looks like that. And then also it comes with this little Tarte Tartist lip paint, and it doesn't tell me... Oh wait, birthday suit. That is the name. And it just looks like that, so I got these two as a free birthday gift from Sephora. I also picked up two milk eye pigments. I've heard a lot of things about them, and I've tried them out, and they are phenomenal. So I got these two shades. I swatched them in the store, and these are the two that stood out the most to me. The first one is in the color Peep Show, and I will swatch these just so you guys can see. But this is Peep Show. It's a really nice icy purple shade. I really like this color. I wanted to go, I wanted to get two colors, one for a cool tone look, one for a more warm tone look. So Peep Show is very cool toned. And then I got Gig, which is a golden shade. And obviously this is really nice for warm tone colors, for warm tone looks. So it looks like this. This is Gig. It's actually kind of a almost bronzy, pinky, goldy shade. But I really like it. It's really pretty. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also go down below, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon so you get notified of when I upload videos. I'm trying very hard to come up with a filming schedule that's going to work for me. But I'm a procrastinator at heart and soul. And that's my entire being. So we'll see how that goes. But please hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I upload videos. Because I don't have a set filming schedule yet. And I'm going to work really hard on it. So just be patient with me. But I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.